die, Josh, you sick son of a bitch. I'd have to listen to you. You're not my dad. This episode of Focus Productions revolves around the worst kind of humans, roommates. I myself have a roommate of horribleness. He's colorblind. I ask not for pity, but for a listening ear. However, beware, for this story is not for the faint of heart. Introducing Greg and Earl. Sorry, I kind of forgot, and then I started playing Minecraft. How could you forget? You walk in, you put your backpack down, you do the dishes, then Minecraft. But I, I'm mining goats. I want to defeat the Ender Dragon, and I need goats. If you're getting I'm... goats to make cloth to wash the dishes with, that's fine. No. But eventually, the dishes need to get done. No, I'm mining goats so I can use their skulls to make weapons. I'm pretty sure there's a goat skull shield that helps you mine water. I don't know. I don't know what to do with my memory. Wits? Ah, oh, shit. Hi, I'm Greg. I'm a student here at the university and, um, I have a centuries-old eldritch people-eater roommate. Yep, that's every day. Uh, hi, I'm Earl, disciple of chaos and beast of the 17th dimension, but uh, most people just call me Earl. Well, you know, I've only had a few problems with Earl. <laughs> <laughs> What? Yeah, no, no, it's, it's been good. Real good. The first day I met Greg, uh, that was the day he moved in. Oh, hi. Uh, you must be Greg. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, it's good to meet you, man. I'm Earl, disciple of chaos and beast of the 17th dimension, but you can just call me Earl. I'm really... Glad that you're like normal looking. I, I was worried you'd be some kind of weirdo or something. Yeah, no, no, not me, no. Yeah, awesome. Well, come on in, man. Don't be a stranger. Yeah, I mean, I was at the beginning. I mean, who wouldn't be scared? It's a man eating monster. But now it's not so much scary as it is annoying. Oh my god, you got blood all over me! I'm eating! But... Jesus Christ, dude! Well, what do you expect? I mean, it's it's human. Did you There's have... blood in it. Did you have to get the obese guy, though? You know they have more blood in them. Well, that's just... He was easier to catch. I'm sorry. But, you know... He pays the rent. So, frankly, if he wants to eat people... It's okay with me. But we agreed, he has to pull out the tarps and eat on the floor. But he's fine with it. He makes me eat like an animal. It's demeaning. Of course, I'm the monster because I eat people, so I get treated like one. You know, sometimes I think Greg only sees the Disciple of Chaos and Beast of the 17th Dimension, and he doesn't really see Earl. Hello, this is MC Enterprises, Earl speaking. How may I help you? What? Our refrigerator is too running. Why do you keep calling me here? I will find you, and I will send you to the 17th dimension. I am a disciple of chaos. I am a destroyer of worlds. I will eat you and your family. Oh, I'm sorry. Was this a wrong number? Oh. Oh. Um, bye. Damn kids. I work customer service. I answer the phone. Uh, it's a pretty liberating job, honestly. 
uh, I scare my coworkers. I scare people, and I, I don't blame them. I'm a shadow feeder. But on the phone, they just hear Earl, and it's just really nice to know that I have a non-threatening voice. They hear the real me, and it's just really motivating. Asshole. Me? Oh, uh, you know, uh, part-time gigs. Normal things. You don't want to know. Seriously, Greg's job is revolting, and I eat people. Raw. That should tell you a thing or two. Sometimes I wonder which of us is the real monster. Sometimes when a fight gets real bad, Earl will call me Pencil Boy. So degrading. Like, do I call him Leg Boy? <laughs> I could. He eats a lot of legs. But I won't. He can eat all the legs he wants. I don't care. I'm, who am I to judge him? I wasn't hungry anyway. You know, this dimension's kind of a funny place. When you grow up for 34,572 years surrounded by pure anguish and terror around every turn, you really start to appreciate the simplicities of human life. And at the end of the day, I've got nothing to complain about. Uh, good night, Earl. Sleep tight, Greg. You sort of appreciate the simplicity of this dimension. You know, human life's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> we had to redo it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. I, I just walked in and then I started playing Minecraft and now I'm, I'm tunneling to the center of the earth underwater. Dude, this is the fourth time this month. Yeah, I, I just I got busy with the Minecraft. How many tunnels does it take before you finally realize that the only place you have to go to is over here and put the dishes away? That's all I ask. <laughs> Can you mine water? Do you know? Okay, Kai. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, okay. Introducing Josh and Earl. Damn it, never mind, fuck it. Sorry for wasting everybody's time. <laughs>